So we're going to be talking about happiness. <laughs> but nah, real talk though, it's a lot of people out here that are unhappy with a lot of things. And we're going to be discussing that today. So I'm going to share what I went through. Because I'm still, you know what I mean? I'm still in an unhappy phase. Things ain't going right right now. And it wasn't before. It was kind of worse before. So, basically, if you're an unhappy person, you should be doing whatever it takes to make you happy. Whatever it takes. It doesn't matter. I was at a job where... I was at two jobs where um, I was very unhappy. Because the energy and the toxicity of the environment there was terrible. And if you're already an unhappy person and you're going through that, I don't feel like you should even be putting yourself through that, to be honest with you. If you're a person who's already unhappy and you're working a job that's like that, my best, my best advice is to quit. Because I worked... My first job was at um, Party City. I was there when I was 17. Uh, I think I was, I was there for about seven months. And it was cool. You know, when you get your first job, you like, okay, yeah, okay. Better be getting that check. Then next thing you know, you start to get tired of it. Quickly. The managers, the coworkers, the, uh, the customers... The, the the work, you start to get tired of it quickly. Simple as that. And I was I was getting tired of it. Cause they was they had funny attitudes, some of the co-workers. When I was there during the Halloween time, it was cool because I was getting co-workers that I can relate to. I had, you know what I'm saying, black co-workers around my age. They was cool. But some of the people there, the the managers and all that, they was a holes. They was terrible. It was terrible there. And I ended up getting fired because of some BS that had happened. And that just made me feel like like I was ready to get up out of there anyways. So I was happy to be fired. I got my last check and I left. Then after that, I had moved on to Red Lobster. And I was working there as a busboy. Uh, I was there when I was 18 up until I was 19. And uh, there, I wasn't happy there. That was even worse than Red. Uh, that was even worse than uh, Party City. Um, so what was going on was part of the reason why I was unhappy is because you know what I'm saying I didn't realize it, but I was really like sad. I wasn't able to you know go and enjoy life at the age. Well, I'm still you know what I'm saying I'm still young, but I still wasn't able to enjoy life. I was broke. I didn't have nowhere to go. It was the same thing every day. I was sleeping all day, every day, eating, you know, all, all of that, you know. And I would go to this job. It was cool at first, just like any job that you would get. It's cool at first, but once you get into it, you're not fucking with it. Simple as that. But it, 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 it got to a point where I started to look around and everybody there was like, Everybody there was, like, toxic. Everybody there was... Not everybody. There was, like, like four or five people there that was cool. Other than that, no. Everybody there, the managers was all right. But some of them was like, eh. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, it started to get tired there. And I was, like, realizing to myself, like, I am already unhappy. These people here, they're not exactly happy campers <laughs> and on top of that the customers was weird too they would always be staring at you mind you literally i worked there for 10 months i was literally the only black buster that they had whole restaurant filled with white people we had some black dudes in the back working dishes but i was the only one out snatching people's plates the only black dude so of course they're gonna be looking at me funny I'm reaching for their plate. <laughs> but, yeah. So I was working there, and I started to feel weird. I wanted to get up out of there. And I realized to myself, like, an idea went through my head. Like, there's people my age 
that are on Instagram right now flexing. That's not even the point I'm trying to make, but it's the point that there's people out here who are enjoying their life that are my that that's my age, and I'm sitting here scraping butter off of tables. That idea literally almost made me want to walk out. So it came to a point where I finally got tired of it, and I was like, you know what? I quit after ten months of slaving myself and. That's the thing that you should not do is continue to put yourself through that. If you're sad and it's continuing to make you sad, it's adding on top of that, on top of that, oh, on top of that sadness, quit. It's not even just a job. It's more than just a job. It could be a family member. It could be your friend. It could be uh, your, your girlfriend. It could be anybody. If it's toxic and it's not making you happy, quit it. Be quick to cut it off. That's my message. That's what I'm trying to say is that if you're sad and you're going through something sad, figure out where the root is, cut it off right there. Simple as that. Do not continue because you're. if it's not getting better, it's, it's, it's obviously going to continue to get worse. Simple as that. 